सब्र रख ए इंसा ये बुरा दौर भी गुजर जाएगा और सारा जमाना फिर से मुस्कुराएगा थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर ऑल द लव एंड सपोर्ट दैट केम इन फॉर माई लास्ट टू एपिसोड ऑफ लाइफ कनेक्ट द अप्रीसिएशन कमिंग इन वॉज हम्बलिंग एंड टूनाइट लाइफ कनेक्ट इज एक्सट्रीमली स्पेशल बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन फर्स्ट बींग लाइफ कनेक्ट इज नाउ सपोर्टिंग आर्टिस्ट फॉर आर्टिस्ट अ नोबल इनिशिएटिव वेर वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग अ मंथली ग्रोसरी किट टू आर्टिस्ट एंड डेली वेज वर्कर्स हु आर फेसिंग लैक ऑफ रिसोर्स ड्यू टू अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट गोइंग इन टू डिप्रेशन हैविंग सोसाइल टेंडेंसीज इन फैक्ट आई हॉट फ्यू केसेज ऑफ आर्टिस्ट गोइंग इन टू डिप्रेशन एंड I would like those who have an abundance if you're hearing me right now please come forward and help the less fortunate and the second reason is we are now going to be live in conversation with a friend he is one of those cricketers who successfully scored 50 runs in his one day international and t20 debut matches the ic cool walking assassin most popularly known as but for me he is robbie and today's life connect i promise you is going to be exciting interesting and loads of learning to take back because he is not only a great cricketer but an avid reader and a wonderful human too so guys stay tuned thank you so much everyone for all the lovely comments that are coming in if you have any questions you can mention it in the comment section below and as the live proceeds i will pick up the most interesting one thank you so much everyone for joining in and uh, i will now be inviting him hope you all are in the best of health please stay home stay safe and uh, we will all get through this together Okay, I am sending him a request. Hello. Hello, Rocky. What's up? How are you? I am very good. How are you? I'm doing good too. What about Sheetal, Neil? Everyone at your place. I hope they are good too. They're all right. Neil got a little bit of a, a, a fever, uh, so but he's he's doing okay. Uh, so he's just gone to sleep now. Sheetal's. Uh, uh putting him to bed uh, for for today but he's good all good otherwise <clears throat> all good and good papa taking care of him too i'm trying <laughs> he's, he's reached the point i think he's reached the terrible two six months later so he's uh, okay. he's at his terrible twos at the moment very very um clear about what he wants what he doesn't want or what how he wants to play what he wants to do so he's he's uh, testing us out a little bit and i think he he doesn't like staying in as much as he likes going out so he loves going out and at the moment uh, he's 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 only in he's indoors so that's also getting to him so it's quite understandable that he's frustrated i'm sure it's not only neil everybody around the world is so frustrated being locked up in their houses but also people are keeping themselves busy doing loads of things and i've been talking you on instagram i saw recently that uh, you posted uh for some yummy delicious dishes so we know about your passion for cricket but cooking that's that uh, that's something new tell us about it it wasn't isn't necessarily cooking but it's more baking but uh, okay. i'm uh, like this 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 lockdown I've, i've been able to kind of venture into seeing how my cooking skills are and uh, they're actually not quite bad in uh, um my wife thinks it's pretty good so you know brownie points for me there <laughs> Absolutely. So, who's a better cook, you or Sheets? Hands down, Sheetal. No way. She's got, she's got what we say in Canada, kai guna. So, she's got beautiful. So the for cooking. So, she's really, really great with it, and uh, uh, she's a uh, and she. Seriously, been, or with? No, in spite of her, not like seriously. Not. She's a good cook, or you're just you're just covering it up for her, right? You know. We're, we're very honest with each other <laughs> for these kind of things. So. Uh, <laughs> So in spite of her being a, a vegetarian she makes some insane non vegetarian stuff so she made some um she makes some excellent mutton she makes a, a a very like a very very tasty 
Kerala beef fry, oh, which is really really nice. Wow. So she, and and without her even knowing, like she doesn't even taste it, but she just gets it right. It just, I think she's got what they have a hand, uh, what they call a hand for cooking. Yes, absolutely. And lucky you because I love the I love the beef fry. Whenever I come to uh, Bangalore or Kerala, I definitely try. So next time I'm in Bangalore, done. You have an uninvited guest. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to come home and try that. Okay. So in uh, Life Connect, it's all about learning something new. So sure. can you tell us something new? You, you said you le- learned cooking recently. I mean, baking recently. Can you share a dish which you think you're really good at? So baking is not something I learned. Something, it's something I've always been interested in. I think as a kid, cooking is something I actually was always a little interested in. Because I would spend a lot of time with mom in the kitchen when she was cooking stuff. So for me, um, I, I think very naturally I kind of progressed into, you know, wanting to do something in the kitchen. And um, I think baking came pretty naturally to me. And for me, it's something I, I quite enjoy. For me, I feel it's like something that relaxes me a lot. So I can give uh, the viewers and, and everyone watching uh, like a little uh, like a little thing that I know is really, really tasty. It's a chocolate fudge. So, uh, wow. since, so since Sheetal and I... Uh, are on a on, are on a low carb ketogenic kind of a diet. She tells doing a ketogenic diet, and I'm 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 following a low carb routine at the moment. So what we're doing is that we um uh, we we have like a lot of sugar free stuff, and she she says it has been someone who's never really enjoyed sweet stuff, but since since she's been on keto, she has absolutely loved 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 the the sweet stuff. So uh, what we do almost on a by nightly basis you know as in every other night we kind of cook up a chocolate fudge that lasts for a day or two and uh, mm-hmm. it's a lot of fun so it's it's a very simple basic recipe but I'll, I'll share the recipe with you guys it's it's 100 okay. grams of dark chocolate preferably about 55 to 65 percent dark chocolate uh, robbie so- once again i'm sorry to i'm sorry to interrupt you here so guys if you're watching us live right now and you want to note it down quickly grab a book and a pen because I'm sure this is going to turn out to be yummy delicious, just as the post Robbie puts on Instagram. Shoot, Robbie. So uh, around 60 to 70 percent dark chocolate. Uh, that comes. That tastes really good in this this fudge. So you need 100 grams of that. 100 grams of 60 uh, to 70 percent dark chocolate. And you chop it up into small pieces. And then um, uh, and then you take 100 grams of, of whipping cream. Uh, whipping cream again is is really really tasty with with this dark chocolate and then about 25 grams of a good quality butter you know so as in, and then and then you can just kind of put it in the oven you heat it up give it a mix uh bring it to the consistency that you like if you like it to be a little more fudgier then add a little less butter uh but if you like it to be um a little more Cream. uh, creamy or maybe a little more fudgier um oh sorry if you like it a little more thinner then add a little more butter and then if you like it thinner, then you preferably want to have it room temp at room temperature. Um, if you can, if you like it like nice and thick and fudgy, then you kind of leave it in the fridge for about half an hour and then you have it. It's it's absolutely yummy. It's very 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 and it's tasty. Simple too. It's very very it's simple. simple. And a little bit of a little bit of sea salt and a dash of vanilla. It's it's mm. very easy, but very yummy. You so- try it. Tell me what you guys think when you try. It. Yes, everyone, once you try it, please post it on Instagram, tag Robbie and tag me and let us all know how it was. I am going to try it too, although I'm an extremely horrible cook. Horrible is not the word, but I've been trying my hand at a few dishes too. And uh, thankfully, it's turning out just about okay. <laughs> so, Robbie, your dad, Vinu Uttapa, was an international hockey referee. Didn't he ever want you to be a hockey player? Because you chose cricket instead. No, dad didn't want me to play hockey. Uh, in fact, I didn't want to play hockey because I felt my dad was extremely appreciated and, uh, and is an extremely appreciated and loved human being in, in within the hockey circles. So people are very fond of him. So I, uh, I always knew that if I chose that route, it's going to be an easy route and I probably will, you know, uh, get through the ranks pretty easily. And I didn't want to take that route as a kid. And uh, truly, my passion lay, uh, was, was you know, in, in cricket. And for me, uh, what I did was I just made sure that I played cricket. They initially wanted me to play tennis, uh, which they did. Uh, and they made me play tennis for a while, about six months. 
and i think 6 months in i think i was 6 or 7 years old at that time and then i told mom and dad that i don't want to play tennis anymore i kind of opened a newspaper and i said to them that listen i uh, i want to play cricket and uh, and that's how it began i i, I think i opened a newspaper up as a 7 year old and went to mom and i said i want to go to that cricket academy uh, and mom so was kind of shocked, and she was like oh, what and uh, the next day I first pair of batting gloves my a real pair of batting gloves i still remember it's like one pastel orange and like pastel yellow like a like a deep pastel yellow orange uh, yellow uh, cotton batting gloves i was so excited i think i thought and said okay you know let's let's give this guy a go and then i my first summer camp at age 7 and that all began for me <clears throat> I know, and we saw your passion of cricket, cricket coming through in your debut one international match. What a dream debut you had, Robbie! Of those magnificent eighty-six runs, you had Rahul Dravid on the other hand, and those experienced overseas players all over the field. But how did you manage to be so calm and composed? I didn't know actually. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for me, I just thought it was a great opportunity for me. Twenty-year-old, you wanna. kind of make the most of everything that comes your way for me i really want to make the most of that opportunity because i knew that if you know if i performed well then i would have a a good run in indian side and and actually got off to a good start and i was pretty nervous initially so i took my time initially and it was always great to have rahul dravid you know one of your one of your idols one of my idols batting at the other end so you know when you have something like that have going on in your life you can say you know what i'm just going to <clears throat> bat for as long as possible with this great man and see how much i end up scoring and And that's exactly what happened. It's just amazing to have uh, that kind of a of a start and and have a like a hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy run partnership with Rahul Bai in that in my first game. It was very very special. I, you absolutely impressed uh, Rahul, but you gave a very tough time to Anderson and Plunkett. They didn't see that coming in from this young lad who who scored eighty six runs in his one day international match. And also yeah. in that match, I remember Robbie, you all had worn a black band on your hand. Because you yeah. paid tribute to uh, Dr. Raj Kumar, the Canada superstar. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So it was. <clears throat> he had just passed away, and uh, obviously, in that time, uh, you know, knowing what he's he's meant to us, of, of people in in, uh, in in Karnataka and Bangalore, especially, uh, you know, and we had I think two or three. I think me, uh, sorry, Rahul Bai, Anil Bai, and myself were there, a part of the Indian. that point in time so we just felt it was right for us to you know kind of pay that tribute at that point and you know it was it was special yeah as in uh, to be able to you know bring bring a uh, bring a smile on 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 the kanadi girls faces um on on a on a sad day like that i know in fact you got a smile on all the indians faces because even though you got out at 86 you got a standing ovation from almost 80% of the people present in the stadium and that was beautiful to watch ravi extremely Ashtray. wonderful so tell me uh, that was about your kannada superstar who is your favorite bollywood star quite honestly for me uh, sharukh bhai is someone that I, i i enjoy his work quite a lot um and because i've seen his work first hand in in a lot of our advertisements that we do that we had done when i was when i was a part of the kkr setup and uh, for me amir khan um and off late uh, i have to say the the late uh, irfan khan is someone i i truly appreciated as an actor uh, was an effortless actor so you know these are the people i truly enjoyed watching um yeah as in i think out of the actresses for me alia bhat is someone that really stands out today um one one that has really surprised me i'm really excited about her her future within in the in the cinema industry i think is radhika madan i think she's a very underrated actor but her yes. skills are fair, like right point and i think she's a phenomenal actress and is going to be in this industry yes absolutely these are your heroes so You were you turned out to be a superhero for Team India at Oval against England, the sixth One Day International series. You seal the deal right there with those ram shots in the death overs, the walking hit over the bowler's head, and those and your improvised batting. We raved about it for years. In fact, most people are fans of you because of that incident too. Tell us how was the scenario in the dressing room when you were. Padding up, and you knew you had to score eighty-three runs uh, from fifty-eight balls for India to stay in the series. 
and for me i was quite relaxed because for me i i felt that uh, you know we had as i think sachin sachin paji and dada had had laid foundation for us we need, and gauti had also batted extremely well in that in that uh, so we knew that we had the we had the foundation so we just had to finish the game off well uh, so uh, when ms and i were batting you know we just uh, we have to take it as close as possible and uh, that's actually what we did um so we took the we tried to take the game as as close as possible and when we did you know we out uh, i had complete confidence myself at that point in time that i would i would the game and i backed myself to finish the game i i felt like i had in place and everyone who came out to bat uh, never made me for one second feel like we'll not win this game at every point we felt like okay we'll, uh, and that kind of kept me going and i kept my belief on one point and at that point in time and uh, um and yeah and then the rest of this is history man i was able to finish that game and uh, happy that we i was able to level the series uh with with that performance of mine yes and whole of india was celebrating along with all the players on the field and i don't know how many people are aware but robby uh, suffered a hamstring injury ahead of the final of 2017 20 world cup against india's nemesis pakistan yet your contribution in fielding was stupendous especially the catch of mohammad hafeez who is a hard hitting batsman of pakistan so tell me what strengthened you and let you get off the pain from your mind because right now people need the same kind of strength because they all going through pain because of covid and unemployment and the natural disasters so tell us what strengthened you at that moment well honestly uh, you know i just want to make sure i contribute to the team uh, it's i'm actually surprised how you actually know about that incident uh, because not many people are aware of the fact that i actually injured my hamstring uh, in the in the game against australia uh, so could goes to you I, so having said that uh, for me i think the fact that i to uh, to the team in in any which way possible and, and especially a game against pakistan team that i done well against i really want to contribute in whatever way i could and so you know me and john gloster the the physio at the time um, you know we knew that it's going to be hard for me uh, so i just we made sure we worked really hard uh, before the game we would be up very early in the morning doing a lot of rehab we had i think two or three days three days before the final so we did a lot of rehab for three days a uh, lot of pool stuff uh, like we go early in the morning to the pool in south africa and very very cold but we go and do our sessions and we we get those things done then we taped my hamstring uh kind of you know tried to keep it in place and uh, you know i was able to uh, you know we communicated to to ms that you know this is the issue but uh, uh, it won't stop me from going out there and give my best and uh, you know and he backed that decision as well and and uh, you know i was and i wasn't able to contribute too much with the bat uh but I was able to contribute on the field take that catch get that run out i think which is important to kind of set our team up and I was, ha- I was very happy to be able to do that yeah as in, uh, especially in a finals like that when you're able to contribute a, a crucial uh at a crucial point in the game where the momentum is going away from you you know it it, may, it means a lot not just to me but you know the entire team so um you know I'm happy to uh, happy to you know play play a role even in that game in spite of not scoring too many runs as the saying goes the bigger the ob- obstacle the greater the glory once you overcome it and you are always known to be a person who has overcome any obstacle that has hit you in life and also you have evolved you evolved from 2008 to 2014 drastically we saw a different robby who backed that orange cap with those gigantic 660 runs you know helping kkr uh, back their second most coveted ipl title so what helped you evolve to be the best in 2014 well i think i was <clears throat> i was coming in uh, from a, from a, from a fantastic domestic season so i was i was riding high on confidence we had won, just won the ranji trophy the irani trophy and the vijay hazari trophy which was which are all coveted to, uh, titles in 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 domestic cricket so uh, when this happened i you know i was I had a lot of confidence going and i performed in all three format in all three of those tournaments and, and done well for for our state um and so for me uh i just knew that i had confidence in my ability and i knew that if i could get the uh, uh you know get the opportunities at the right spot then i knew i would i would be able to serve the team in a big way 
and uh, took me a while uh, took uh, me and the team a while to find that right spot uh, but once i got got to the top to, to the top of the order uh, i was able to perform really well and uh, we were able to you know put up match winning performances and uh, you know it was it was great to win that tournament there was uh, coming where we came from in the tournament as a team you know we had played uh, six and we had lost five in and won only one uh and from there to win seven matches in a row to win that tournament was phenomenal for us and i think everyone played such an important role right from you know gautam gambhir was a captain at that time to um you know even our uh, logistics manager raju you know uh, uh, raju gare is a was a logistic is a logistic mm-hmm. play their role and everyone played it to to the best of their ability it's always team work that makes dreams work Robbie and I think uh, yep. it's the great team for that made everything fall in place but what according to you are the skills that a batsman should concentrate on to be the best uh well i think uh, awareness of, uh, of 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 your own game awareness of your limitations awareness of uh, uh what are your strengths and weaknesses uh, i think these are things that are extremely important as as a batsman to understand and once you have any of what your strengths are what your weaknesses are what your limitations are what are your advantages as a batsman i think the awareness and knowing uh, of of these aspects are extremely important to the success of a batter uh, so i think these aspects uh, you know in a gist uh, understanding of this uh, gives you a great understanding of a uh, great opportunity to be successful success is never guaranteed right but you have to prepare the success and uh, i think <clears throat> that is something that is an, in our control to prepare to success to prepare well to prep to prepare to the best of our ability um yes so that we give ourselves the best chance to be successful and so if we've done all of those things right and we have understanding of our game and we have an understanding of what works for us and we stick to what works for us more often than not you're going to be successful yes absolutely i mean all the champs all the little champs i would say who are hearing this champion who has made india proud and uh, these are pointers for you so give it your best prepare to be successful and uh, it will all fall in place one day apna time i guys all i would say right <laughs> everybody's time does I, i think one way or the other if I'm, if, if if people are honest with their work with their work and honest with their work and are putting in the right effort in a channelized fashion uh, one way or the other that uh, the you know whatever you even whether it's god or the universe or energy or you know whatever you believe in uh, you know you will achieve and you will receive uh, the fruits of that effort in some fa- fashion or the other Yes and you will receive in it you will receive it in abundance i would say looking at the way your graph has gone and a lot of people are inspired by you and as i said earlier even i am a fan of you robby so uh, tell me what are the what is the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you while uh, you know while you were playing for india well there was a point when i think early on when i was in the indian team before social media and all of that um i would get uh, tons and tons of fan mail from <clears throat> uh but this one person would send me a lot of like books to read um long long letters for me to read and and uh, it was it was really sweet but it was also something that uh, i didn't know how to comprehend with uh, at that point in time because you only hear of these stories and for you to kind of experience it so i think that was one person who kind of stood out to me someone you know went out of their way and you know read uh, even though i wasn't much like i read but i have like a specific kind of stuff uh, yeah so i think those letters and gifts and small knickknacks and gifts uh, that they sent me those those are the things that this this one fan did for me and it was very sweet and uh, but also overwhelming because <clears throat> i didn't know what to do with with that kind of att- attention and robby and sheets are wonderful people because when i was with kkr i didn't know many people in the team and i was kind of feeling homesick but uh, robby and sheets took me around for uh, dinners with friends and lunches and made me feel at home thank you so much i am i would say i am truly blessed thank you so much oh, robby no. that's really no, it's, it's a pleasure it is it is only a pleasure <laughs>
So, uh, Robbie, now things are evolving. Everything is getting digitized. Uh, in fact, the football leagues have started, but the T Twenty World Cup has been postponed. Do you think IPL will happen this year? I have a feeling it will. Um, I think it's something that not just as in I think forget from a cricketing point of view, but if you look at it from a from a human perspective, people are are, are indoors and. uh you know in the, at this very difficult time uh, where we are everything is beyond our control and we are uh, you know we just bystanders bystanders in this whole, whole pandemic right and we have to be responsible and play our part uh, and it can be deeply frustrating to be indoors uh, for over a long period of time and <clears throat> i think uh, it's got its pros and cons the pros are that nature is healing the world's healing in a lot of ways we are seeing so many country uh, people put pictures of being able to see mount everest from 300 kilometers away uh, the himalayas from 300 kilometers away is beautiful to be able to see that uh, the yamuna river is is really clean uh, the ganges is, the ganga is really clean and these are just amazing things to hear about our own country right in my own home small ways i can i hear birds that i've never heard ever like ever before uh, in 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 my life i as in, i think the disappearance of sparrows in bangalore uh, was a phenomenon that happened i think 10 years ago but after i think a decade i was able to see sparrows on a on a regular it's nice to hear all the positives that you're focusing on so everybody everyone who's at home right now and uh, if uh, if you're getting paranoid just focus on all the good things that are happening in the world you have been with KKR for five years, and now you are with Rajasthan Royals. How was your experience? You know, after after a long period to train with a new team. Well, for me, it was it was something that uh, I was pleasantly surprised with because obviously, when you're with like like a franchise like KKR, feel and you've like been a a part of of the franchise for so long that it feels like home, and and it was. Like, for me because of the love and the affection that i got from the people of calcutta the way the franchise treated us the way they looked after us they made us feel like it was family and it was home uh, so for me leaving there was obviously a little a little disheartening a little emotional to be honest not disheartening but pretty emotional um uh, having said that the way i was received in 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 rr uh, the way the royals received me, the way they uh, you know treated me uh, since then has been phenomenal uh, you know and i'm really excited about going out there and playing for rr and uh, you know uh, hopefully winning matches and hopefully uh, all the fans all around the world are waiting for ipl to begin as soon as possible and uh, with that now i am going to robbie move to the mad rad segment of uh, life connect also uh, before okay. we move to that i'd like to talk to everyone who's watching me right now i'm supporting this initiative called artists for artists people who are watching us whatever you feel like donating please go ahead the numbers also mentioned on the flyer thank you for being part of life connect because through you all your fans could now hear and probably could help us out and be a blessing in disguise to yeah. someone in need absolutely i think i think it's it's very nice uh, manana that that you uh that you that you're doing what you're doing in helping people within your own industry i think it's something that uh, a lot of us uh, hope to do and wish to do and uh, you know i think uh, you know it's, uh, i think adding value to else's life is 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 one of the most beautiful things that uh, a person can do and uh, kudos to you and everyone else who's contributing i think it's fantastic i think we're in the place where we need to help uh, a lot of people and as many people as we can because um at the end of the day uh, we are here to 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 share and and share this world with uh, uh with with billions and billions of people and and uh, if if we look at it from a certain perspective then everyone that we are that we live with uh, have an impact on our lives as well and so if we can return that favor uh in this time in this way then i'm certain that uh, at a certain point uh, you know good things will happen to us uh, in a certain way under certain circumstances Yes, indeed. One for all, all for one. We are uh, on humanitarian grounds. We all are one big family, and if we could be there in these t- testing times for each other, nothing like it. Okay. All right. Now, Robbie, we move on to the mad rad segment of Life Connect. You have to be either totally mad or rad. 
all the seriousness all of it out and it's like a rapid fire round so you have to be as quick as possible so okay i'll i'll give you mad or uh, rad answers let's go <laughs> All right. Your favorite IPL team: Mumbai Indians, Kolkata Knight Riders, Royal Challengers, Bangalore, or Rajasthan Royals? Oh man! Uh, <laughs> the most stupid comment you heard in the stadium while fielding? <laughs> I know you were zillion from there. <laughs> I Come on, Robbie! No, it's supposed to be mad. I, You're supposed to be mad, right? Fun. I want to check your fun question. I, Come on, you got to be innovative here. Tell me I, one, I one of them. Abused on the boundary line. Like no, 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 no. not the abusive ones. ones. I want the most stupid comment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything off 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 my head at the moment. But I remember when you go to Baroda. Uh, uh -huh. you go to baroda and when you playing matches there there is a ground called uh, oh, i forgot the name of the ground yeah but there's one ground in baroda that we play at uh, it's a, it's a it's within a palace compound so in that ground uh -huh. we get bullied literally bullied by uh, people uh, or spectators watching the game so they will make uh -huh. fun of you they will abuse you they'll be like robin ana 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 idhar ana <laughs> so <laughs> and, <laughs> so you don't know if you have to be upset or you have to actually laugh at them it's quite funny and learn to ignore them just kind of learn to ignore them after a point just let them be all right i'm moving to my next question your reaction when you first met sheetal so uh, when i first met sheetal sheetal and i were best friends for five years or i uh, I, i kind of fell in love with her So, uh, oh. for for me, in oh. we were we were we were instantly best friends. Uh, so the first time I met Sheetal, instantly we became like we we hit it off as friends, and uh, uh, we we became really close after that. And for five years, we were just like like the best of friends, yeah. And uh, you know, I was dating someone else, but and in spite of that, people like my people around me understood the you know who Sheetal was to me and how close I was to her and. So that was my first my first uh, interaction with Sheetal. I I remember I met her after a a college uh, sports festival, and um, she was also also playing at that point in right. So for me, I met her knowing her as someone who I I grew up watching. Uh, you know, um, uh, for Karnataka and for herself, right? So for me, there was a sense of admiration as well, and we kind of hit it off and became best friends. Kind of like we became really really good friends immediately, and then. sweet we remained friends for five five years before i realized after a certain point in time that i was in love with her oof when i saw sheetal for the first time i was like ooh haughty who is also very very naughty <laughs> that's how that's how you got the handle right batman and joker yeah so that was a that was a fun we did look for our wedding so uh i think i think uh, the fans in calcutta gave me the nickname of batman Um, then uh, you know uh, we kind of kind of went was always someone who was the joker in the relationship so uh, it kind of stuck and then and we, once we got kind of stuck and it was one of our it was actually our, our wedding so our wedding was the kind of hashtag batman and jokers and, and that kind of stuck around with us Uh, but it, it's while. kind of apt i would say it's kind of apt i really like it now tell me oh, which are the sports besides cricket that you've tried your hand at uh, you told us tennis earlier besides tennis yeah yeah i have i in fact uh, played hockey for a little bit i in fact uh, represented the sub junior state side um, wow <laughs> yeah so so sheetal just popped up and she's saying hello hello yp uh, this means that neil has gone to sleep it's it's good to know thank <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> did he sleep well has he fallen asleep peacefully uh but yeah yeah i played hockey i played a little bit of hockey i played tennis uh, i soccer uh i played football uh, football a little bit uh, table tennis uh, i think any sport and kind of take to uh, pretty pretty naturally uh, i think if if i didn't end up playing cricket uh, i would have probably ended up playing some other sport uh, and made a career out of it that's that's wonderful to know but I, we are really glad that you play cricket because we enjoy your batting stints <laughs> If Thanks. given a chance to change one thing in your life, what would it be? Nothing. 
everything in my life has happened and brought me to exactly where i'm at and i'm truly grateful to god uh, truly grateful to everything that i've experienced as a human being because i i wouldn't be uh, without as with all the knowledge and and uh, experiences that i've and i've gained as over the over the over my, the course of my life so i honestly wouldn't change a single thing that's that's fantastic and I'm, i'm really happy that i i got to hear that i was hoping to hear that only describe yourself in one word passionate mhm i give that to you if locked up in a room with dada saurav ganguly and ravi shastri what would the conversation be like <laughs> i would listen to the conversation <laughs> and if they having a glass of wine at the like wine glasses and say let me listen to these these wise old men and see what i can learn from them all right all right thank you so much robbie it was so much fun first of all first up uh, learning the chocolate fudge from you knowing so much about your life and uh, thank you for supporting uh, artists for artists initiative and thank you for everything that you've done today on live connect with us we thoroughly had a great time i hope you enjoyed it too thank you so much madam i had a lot of fun it was nice it, it it was i've been doing these lives for a for a bit uh, since the lockdown has begun and this was fun thank you very much thank you robby loads of love take care and uh, uh, hope care. neil gets well soon he will he will thank you so much thanks a lot take care take care bye 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 so everybody hope you enjoyed this live connect with uh, the walking assassin ic cool uh, robin uttappa and uh, next week we have yet another exciting episode with another player who has been part of the 2007 t20 winning squad of india uh what i love about him is the most that he's brutally honest just like me thank you once again for all the love take care and uh, have a great week